Hello viewers, I welcome you all to another talk on Miller Indices. Miller Indices is a simple technique to specify a direction or a plane in a lattice or in a crystal. The objective of today's talk is to facilitate the learners to know about Miller Indices for the given plane in a crystal. Learning outcomes will be that learners will be able to define Miller indices to designate a plane in the crystal, outline the ways to determine Miller indices for a plane in a crystal, solve problems by finding Miller indices of a given plane in a crystal. Let us now discuss what are called Miller indices. Miller indices was suggested by William Hallows Miller. Miller indices are a set of three integers to describe the orientation of a plane in a crystal. The Miller indices of a plane are defined as the reciprocal of the intercepts which the plane make with the axis being reduced to smallest numbers and are represented as HKL. How to find Miller indices? Let the intercepts by the given plane on the three axes X, Y, and Z respectively be PA, QB, RC, where A, B, C, R, the primitives, which are nothing but the intercepts made by the plane along X, Y, and Z axis, respectively, and P, Q, R are small integers. Let me give some steps how to find Miller indices for a plane in a crystal. Step one says that find the intercepts of the plane along the three axes x, y, and z. Step two, take reciprocals of the intercepts. Step three, convert into smallest possible integers called hkl. That is taking its LCM in such a way that hkl equal to 1 by P, 1 by Q, 1 by R. Step 4. Writing the Miller indices of the given plane, which could be specified as HKL within the parenthesis. Only four steps are given. You just study the plane in the given crystal. First, locate the intercepts made by the plane on the x, y, z axis. Second step, take the reciprocal of the intercepts. Third step, convert them into small number. That is simply find the LCM and write those values within the parenthesis that gives the Miller indices of the given plane in a crystal. Let us now discuss some examples. Now, why we have to take the reciprocal of the intercepts? That may be the question. The reciprocal procedure avoids the intercepts of infinity for a plane parallel to an axis by making it to zero. Whenever the plane is parallel to particular axis, then the intercept should be taken infinity because only at infinity that plane can intersect that axis. In such case, you have to take infinity. Then while finding the direction or the orientation of the plane, handling infinity is very difficult. So Miller suggested that find the intercepts, find the reciprocal, then reduced into simple number, then it is very easy to designate that plane in the crystal. So when you do some problems, you will understand how to find Miller indices. It's a very simple procedure. 
Let us see one by one. Some important Miller planes. First, we have taken a unit cell in the shape and it is kept on the, on the x-axis is taken here, y and z-axis. The unit cell is kept here. Why we call it as a unit cell? It is the smallest portion of the entire crystal. So if this small unit cell is repeated in three dimensions, the entire crystal could be formed. Now, in this unit cell, you want to give a designation. You want to name this front face of this unit cell. So to name this front face, you use this Miller indices. Now, the length, breadth, and thickness of the unit cell is taken as one unit. So it is a simple cubic structure. And we are going to find out the Miller indices for the front face of this simple cubic structure. Now, this plane of this unit cell is intersecting on x-axis. But this plane is not touching the y and z-axis. This face, which is shaded, is not intersecting the y and z-axis. You can simply say that this phase of the unit cell is parallel to z-axis, parallel to y-axis, but intersecting only on the x-axis. So if the phase is parallel, you take the intercept as infinity. Shall we find out Miller indices for this phase of the crystal? First step, write down the intercepts. So it is intersecting on the x-axis at 1 because the unit cell has unit dimension. So 1. And this space is parallel to y and z axis. So the intercept is infinity and infinity. Step 2 says that find the reciprocal of the intercepts. So you write now 1 by 1, 1 by infinity and 1 by infinity. Next, we have to reduce them into a smallest number. We know 1 by 1 is 1, 1 by infinity is 0, and 1 by infinity is 0. So you now find the smallest integers to be 1, 0, 0. Now you are writing the Miller indices. Just write these simple numbers within the parentheses. So this plane can be designated as 1, 0, 0 plane. So if I ask you, draw the 1, 0, 0 plane, immediately you will be able to draw the unit cell and then shade the plane with the designation 1, 0, 0. Now, another example. You see this unit cell, you have considered a plane which is intersecting the x-axis as well as the y-axis but parallel to the z-axis. So if it is parallel, the intercept should be taken as infinity. So write down the intercepts now. One here, one here. It is not intersecting the z-axis. So intercept should be infinity. The next step is find the reciprocals. One by one, one by one, and one by infinity. Reduce them into smallest numbers. Write them within the parenthesis. Then this plane can be designated or named as 110 plane. Here we have taken x axis this way, y axis this way, z axis this way. So you can interchange it. Suppose you can take x axis here, y axis there, z axis there. Accordingly, you can choose the plane and designate it. Next example a plane is taken like this. You can see it is intersecting on x. Y and Z axis. So the intercepts will be 1, 1, 1. The reciprocals will be 1 by 1, 1 by 1, 1 by 1. Then the reduced numbers will be 1, 1, 1. So Miller indices for this particular plane is 1, 1, 1. I hope you have understood the logic of finding Miller indices for the given plane. So Miller indices of Three small numbers indicating the plane in the crystal. Some more examples we see. Next one. 
that you will be able to understand this shaded phase is intersecting only the y axis and is parallel to x axis and z axis so the intercepts can be written as infinity 1 and infinity because plane is parallel to x and z axis next step is finding the reciprocal of the intercepts reduce them into smallest number 1 by infinity 0 1 and 0 so miller indices for this plane can be written as 0 1 0 plane 0 1 0 plane next example now you tell me this shaded portion is intersecting only the z axis it is parallel to y axis it is parallel to the x axis so the intercepts could be taken as infinity and infinity and 1 the reciprocals you can write find out the smallest number so the miller indices for this plane can be written as 0 0 1 plane so sometimes in mcqs this question could come they will give some pictures and ask you to give the name of the plane so simply you have to work on it and give now look at this diagram the plane is intersecting the x axis and z axis but not intersecting the y axis so the intercepts will be 1 infinity and 1 and its reciprocals will be 1 by 1 1 by infinity 1 by 1 reduce them into smallest number 1 0 1 so the miller indices for this plane is 1 0 1 here it's interesting some more examples i have given it is intersecting the z axis and the y axis and parallel to x axis so you can write the intercepts to be 0 1 and 1 the reciprocals will be like this reduce them into smallest number so the miller indices will be 0 1 1 one more picture we take here you can see the unit cell has one unit dimension on x axis one unit on y axis and one unit on z axis but the plane consider is touching at one unit on x axis one unit on y axis but you see it is touching the midpoint of the height on the z axis so if you take this height to be one unit the midpoint can be taken as half so shall we write the intercepts the intercepts will be 1 1 and half next you have to find out the reciprocal reciprocal will be 1 by 1 1 by 1 and 2 next you find the lcm 2 means denominator is 1 so the smallest numbers will be 1 1 2 and the miller indices for this plane is 1 1 and 2 the next example is you can see the intercepts will be half 1 half reciprocal you find out you'll be getting 2 1 2 the smallest numbers will be 2 1 2 so for this plane the designation is 2 1 2 this is another problem you see here they have given the numbers this plane intersects on you see here x axis is taken here y is here z axis is here there is no strict way that only x is this side or that side considering the plane you can write the intercepts and work out the miller indices for that plane so this plane intersecting on x axis at two units on y axis one unit on z axis two units so the intercepts will be 2 1 2 reciprocals will be 1 by 2 1 by 1 and 1 by 2 now you reduce it to smallest number so denominator you take 2 so this is there so 1 and 1 into has two times so you write 2 and then just find the lcm of this fraction you find 1 to 1 so for this play miller indices will be 1 to 1 some problems let us solve now in a crystal a lattice plane now 
they didn't give the figure they have given the statement of the problem so from the statement of the problem you can draw the figure or you can find out the miller indices in a crystal a lattice plane cuts intercepts 2a 3b 6c along the three axes where a b c are primitive vectors of the unit cell determine the miller indices of the given plane no figure given so you have to understand the intercepts from the problem given so a b c are simply primitive vectors along the x axis the integers represents the intercepts so you simply write down the intercepts are 2 3 6 sometimes this problem could come for a mcq so listen carefully intercepts are 2 3 6 write down the reciprocal 1 by 2 1 by 3 and 1 by 6 now find the lcm so here the biggest number is 6 take the lcm 6 in 6 you have 2 you have 3 times 3 you have 2 times and 6 you have 1 time as all the fractions have the same denominator you leave the denominator and write the smallest number 3 2 1 So Miller indices of the plane are three, two, one. Next problem: Find the Miller indices of a set of parallel planes which make intercepts in the ratio four a on the x-axis, three b on y-axis, and is parallel to z-axis. A, B, C are the primitive vectors of the lattice. So they have given four a, three b. and they say that the plane is parallel to the z axis so you can write the intercepts 4 3 and infinity now find the reciprocal so now you have 1 by 4 1 by 3 and 0 now you find the lcm you take 12 in 12 4 is 3 times 3 is 4 times and 0 is the third smallest number so the miller indices for the given plane will be 3 4 0 next example if the intercepts made by the plane on a crystallographic axis are 6 3 2 respectively find the miller indices very simple they have straight away given intercepts without primitives so you write down the intercepts 6 3 2 find the reciprocal so here the biggest number is 6 reduce this fraction into smallest numbers take lcm so you find 1 2 3 to be the smallest integers so the miller indices of the given set of planes are 1 2 3 i think this is the last problem in a simple cubic lattice find the ratio of intercepts on the three axes by 1 3 bar 2 plane solution the intercepts are 1 3 bar 2 what do you mean by 3 bar so if it is just given 3 it is on the positive axis if it is bar 3 means the negative part of that axis to be considered so 1 3 bar 2 means 1 on x axis 3 bar tells that the plane is intersecting negative y axis at the third unit and 2 on z axis so write exactly now 1 minus 3 and 2 so on the negative y axis the intercept is minus 3 next you find the reciprocal and find the lcm you see the denominators are like this so no common so you just multiply in 6 one is 6 times and minus 3 means 2 times So minus sign you just write three is two times you write minus two and three. So the Miller indices for this play is six minus two and three. I hope you have understood what are called Miller indices and how to find out Miller indices. Knowing Miller indices, you know the direction and the orientation of the plane in the crystal. and it will be very helpful in studying the properties of the crystal 
So with this, I conclude my talk. Thank you, one and all.